Hello everybody, it's Doom here, and today is a big day, well, or should I say yesterday was a big day, because yesterday, all of the new for 2024 Trans World props um, were shown in videos, um, and also, we also got um, some more videos today as well, so I guess it's also today, um, but I'm just going to go over, um, well, not all of the props, but some of the newer props that I find interesting, and boy, these are some really cool props. So, let's get right into it. Alright, starting from the top, we have the pumpkin head pop-up, which is, um, it, it just stays down and pops up. I don't think I'm going to go into all of these, but yes, this is a new one. Um, then we have clown shutters, which kind of opens the door and his head pops up, which is super cool. Um, I'm only going to really go into depth in some of the newer and more awesome ones. Oh, wait, right. he here's a really cool one. So let's, let's see this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that one is a really, really cool one, um, I think. Um, it's basically, you know, Spear Halloween's Peekaboo Clown, but on steroids, I guess you could say. Um, I love how his face is, like, ripped off. It's super cool. Um, this one is retailing for 2600 so it's definitely not cheap but you get good quality of course and man it is fast and this is this is definitely a scary one um all of these are going to be displayed at transold so i cannot wait to see this one and then right here we have psycho kneeling twitcher another one from last year um clown dropper flailer all of these, I think, aren't new for this year. I haven't seen any of them in person, though, because I've never been to Transworld before. Um, you probably know that. Uh, here is the electric chair. Um, this one reminds me a lot of the Distortions um, electric chair, so let's check it out. So there it was, and yeah, this one is awesome. They they did a great job with this electric chair. I'm quite sure this one's new for this year. I'm not 100% sure, um, but yes, this one retails for $3,300. So once again, not cheap, but it's pretty cool looking. Very, very violent, and also you get the whole like chair and the danger high voltage, I think. So yeah, super duper cool. Alright, here we have the clown cage. This is one that I was talking about in my last video, and it does the exact same thing I thought it would, and it's pretty cool. Here we go. <laughs> anyway, there there he was, and yeah, he uh, he like pulls up on the cage, and I think it's really cool, because you have, like, the sounds coming out of the speaker, but you also have those real sounds that have even more of an impact, um, and I bet that one will scare a lot of people at Transworld, um, just because they're not expecting it to really clamp up, but it's a Poison Profs booth, so I'm not sure, um, people are probably expecting that. Um, but here, here we go, here's Bushman, and this one I was very confused when I first saw it, so let's check it out. Yeah, so that thing, that thing, I underestimated it. That is so, so cool. Yeah, it looks simply, uh, it looks like simple decorative plant, then suddenly bursts open, revealing a screaming man. So I like how the man is basically, like, completely a plant. It, like, blends right in super well. You would never, you would never guess that that's not a prop, because even if you're behind it, you, you can't see. There's no man behind it like hiding behind there so it is definitely a great jump scare prop that is super epic um and that one is three thousand dollars <laughs> okay all right now we're getting into some of the more gory ones uh wait we still have conjoined meat right here um which is <laughs> another really really gory one uh yeah You got 
got the death metal going on in the background. <laughs> that's how that's how you know it's intense. Um, so yeah, male and female torso stitched together and hanging from chains, thrashing violently. It, it's as brutal as it gets, really. Well, actually, not as it gets. There's one that's even worse. But this one, this one's another um, high-priced one with $3,900. Um, so, yeah, that, that that was pretty cool. Like, it, it really it really just makes me uncomfortable, if you know what I mean. Then here's another one that's really gory. Meat on chain, so let's check them out. Ah! 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 So you can tell that that is definitely, definitely scary, alright? Um, yeah, lots of blood, lots of gore, um, just how Poison Props does it. Um, not much else to say, so let's move on to the next one, but I think it's super cool. Wait, what's the price? $2,800. Um, and then here we have Face Hooks, which is by far the most brutal Poison Prop I think I've ever seen. Ah! Yeah, if that does not scare you, I doubt anything will. Um, yeah, I, I don't like it whatsoever. Um, the hooks hanging from the flesh, that one's $2,600. So, yeah, probably one of the cheapest ones we've seen yet. Um, but, yeah. All right, next we have Possessed and Contorted, so let's check her out. Yep, so this is definitely one of my favorites of this year. I see they're, uh, like, kind of capitalizing off of uh, a body lifted and contorted su success. Because, um, well, it was, like, a lot stranger things, you know. Body parts go flying every... Well, <laughs> fly, fly out, and then, like, snap. Um, anyway, super cool. I really think this one is really cool because, like, she does, like this 180, and they twist around, and her neck does a 180. It's, it's, it's nightmare fuel for sure, and it is definitely creepy. That one retails for $3,900, so, yeah. So we have skewered and burning. Um, I'm, I don't think I'm gonna press the video on this one. Uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory, but he's skewered, and he's on, like, a fireplace, so super cool as well. Um, and then we have Iron Maiden, which is my favorite for this year, and you'll see why in just a second. there it was i think you understand um why it's so awesome basically if you don't know like i think they did something a lot like it last year where there was like this guy in a barrel and this guy like pushes him down to the acid and then lifts him lifts the lid back up and he comes up and he's like his face is melting off um basically what happens is it's like more of a cylinder and um when it closes in the entire uh, platform turns around so there's actually two different guys. Um, makes sense though. Um, so there's two different guys, and one is like all bloody, and the other is like all normal, you know. And then he gets impaled, and yeah, there. That's how it works. Super duper creepy. Definitely nightmare fuel. And I love how they executed it. It's just perfect, perfect. Um, and yeah, six thousand five hundred dollars. Probably the most expensive prop yet. I think that, yeah, that's even more expensive than Distortions Unlimited Mutant. Um, but makes sense because of all the um, extra stuff. There's like, he closes in, he turns around, and there's two different props that have so much movement to them. So it's really, really epic. Um, anyway, yeah, that's it's super cool and also pretty big as well. And then we have the Heart Punch photo op, which was just released today. Um, and yeah, here we go. It says, 
pose with this photo op, and it will look like a zombie is punching through your chest and ripping out your heart. So I guess how this works is probably like, uh, you just have this thing that you attach to your chest, which is the zombie's arm and the heart. Um, so it, like, it's kind of like an illusion. Um, yeah, this non-aided animated photo op comes with two bloodthirsty zombies. Wait, two bloodthirsty zombies? I don't know why it says that. I only see one in there. Um, bloodthirsty zombie, great for promoting your haunted event or party. Human not included. The human isn't included? Oh, I would never guess that. That's a good thing it's there. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, that's another cool one. It's just static, but like... It'd be great for, like, um, your haunt. You could have people in line do a photo op with it. Super cool, um, nonetheless. Nobody there, obviously. Um, and then we have the terrify, terrifying ben clown bench. Um, definitely not inspired by Terrifier whatsoever. Anyway, there was the terrifying clown bench terrifier. <laughs> um, anyway, so that's that's basically what it does. Like you sit on it, and his head turns, which I think is super awesome. I actually thought it would just be a static, um, but his head turns, which I think is really cool, and super creepy because you're not expecting it. Um, and then I think maybe the bench vibrates or air comes out of somewhere. I bet the bench just vibrates. It didn't look like a lot was happening there. But I think it does. But that, that would just be super creepy. Um, that is, I think, probably my second favorite right after Iron Maiden. Um, just because it's it's perfect to have, like, by your lineup or whatever. And you could have, like, people sitting down in a photo op and they definitely get scared. Um, so that would be super cool. Super unexpected. Great prank. And that one retails for 2500 Next, we have the static one, which is $500 less. Next, we have Vampire Lord here. <laughs> now, I think that one is definitely super cool. Uh, I love how he just flies up. Super demonic and creepy, um, like Vampire Lord, yeah, super, it's super cool. It kind of remembers me of, it kind of reminds me of that, like, scene at the end of The Nun 2, where the nun, like, um, she gets super tall, and her, like, dress gets huge, and she, like, she's, like, standing there, um, super duper creepy, um, and definitely a great job scare. I know many people will expect it to go this high. Also reminds me of Mr. Dark, of course. How could it not? Um, but yeah, that's it's, it's super cool. And that one is four thousand uh, dollars. How tall is it actually? It does not actually say how tall it is here. So, oh, nine foot five, right here. Yeah, nine foot five. That is actually a little bit shorter than I was expecting, but uh, still, still super tall. So, can't complain. And then we're here we have the backstabber photo op. Um I did explain this one in my last um last video. Um we of course there's no video because it is a static prop. Then down to I think the final yeah, final five here, we have the ten foot skelly monster. So let's check this one out. <laughs> I've heard other people talk about it, but, um, this is actually, well, it's quite obviously using, um, the Sunstar 10-foot skeleton, um, so, I, I the 10-foot skeleton is, from Sunstar, is very, very cheap, 
and it would snap so so easily. So I, I'm really hoping that they at least like reinforce it somehow, or maybe filled it with latex, or filled it with I don't know, made wood um, like an armature for it, so it wouldn't break as easy. Because um, like this would break within the second use if they didn't do anything like that. Um, but that one is two thousand five hundred, and you get a ten foot prop, and there is it like lunges forward and does so much things. Um, it's super creepy. I think that I think they did a great job on this. Next, we have Hanging Bones right here. Let's check that one out. So, if you didn't know, this is a reskin of um, Hanging Meat. Which was a poison prop, um, which is poison prop from I think either last year or multiple years, um, I think. Um, but anyway, super cool alternative, um, and I, I love the bones. They did a great job on making this look like a real skeleton, and I think it looks super cool. Great little jump scare prop, and it retails for two thousand four hundred dollars. Anyway, here next we have the giant mutant spider. Right here, so let's check it out. So yeah, that is basically um, an extremely professional version of the jumping spider from Spirit Halloween. And yeah, they did a great job on this one as well. I believe it jumps up and then like... Its arms go like that, and it sprays like water or something. Um, maybe, maybe just um, air. Um, but yeah, it's super, super duper cool. Um, and yeah, then we have Angel of the Black Death, which is a reskin of the um, Angel of Death, which just had um, a white um, robe. Nothing else was different. And then lastly, here we have Sinful Descender, which is the same as. Um, which was a reskin of this other um, one, I forget. Oh, wait. Oh, they actually have a video on it now. Okay. Okay, that's new. That is definitely new. Last time it was, last time it was just the other prop. Um, okay, let's check out this video. I'm checking this out. Okay. That, that is awesome, yeah. They always do such a great job with nuns. Like, that. that's what inspired me to, like, um, make um, a nun prop of my own um, for the Haunted House. Like, all their other nun props. Super duper cool looking. And they did a great job on this, for sure. I bet they're going to have a better video soon. Um, but, yeah. I think this actually might be at Transworld. That, that, that'd be, that'd be, yeah, that is, that must be at Transworld. Okay, so they're already setting up. I did not know that. But that that is awesome. Anyway, that was that was all the ones I thought um I needed to go over. Um and yeah, Poison Props 2024, super cool. Um and I think that's gonna be it for this video. Um so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Do out.